Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm Nathan. I'm the bass player for Slaves to Humanity. I'm Aiden. I'm the lead singer for Slaves to Humanity. <laughs> My old, the old version of this band, because this is like the newest iteration of the band, and honestly, this is the best, in my opinion, and the, really the only, because um, the one before was like maybe less than a year or something like that, and the bass player from that old version gave gave us the name because we were in a rush and we needed to get a name like real fast, and so we kind of just stuck with that name because we never just got around to changing it, and so that's that's just been kind of the stories that we never got around to changing it and I don't think we ever will so it's just kind of how it's going to be with these songs that you have out right now are they are they COVID songs or did you guys record some of these before the the, the big pandemic yeah that's kind of a mixture um like Battleground and uh Ride Addict and even Behind My Back those were recorded pre-pandemic but uh the new song that we put out the start that one was actually written and recorded you know during this this process the, the music is, a lot of the music is, is about an, an escape. I think everybody needs an escape. And writing about current major world issues, it just it just brings people back into them. And I don't want people to feel like they're, they're being pushed back into, into these kinds of things. When, when really what music and art is, is, is an escape to, for all of that stuff, you know? Yeah, and we don't. We yeah. always try and like shy away from from getting, you know, commenting on on things that are maybe hot button because we don't want to alienate any of our audience. Because it's at the end of the day, it's the fans who allow us to have this career. Exactly. Everybody, everybody matters. You know. It's getting hard to think of. Writing, writing the way that we do and, and performing just with like boots on the ground instruments, you know, it's, it's, it's rad. And it, it's just something that I don't think will ever really go away. Cause I mean, yeah, rock has had its ups and downs, but rock came back every single time. I mean, if you look right now, Machine Gun Kelly and Post Malone, they perform with full bands. Yes. They perform with full bands in behind them. And so that's, that's, that's awesome it's so cool to see like that to feel that live energy because i mean like people like like michael jackson right michael jackson performed with a lot of tracks and that's awesome too michael jackson was incredible live but there's just something about the energy of a live band that just speaks to everybody out of the ones that we have recorded honestly my most favorite to perform is god has got to be either riot addict or, or the start Really? What about recording? Recording? I can't tell you yet. <laughs> as, a, as an instrumentalist, I have to say it was probably the start because when we were recording Ride Act and Battleground first, you know, we were more green to this whole process. Mm -hmm. But as each song is gone, we've gotten faster, smoother at recording it. So this one was was actually pretty fun to record. Listen to the start, listen to Battleground, listen to Riot Addict. We have some things up on, on youtube that you guys can all listen to if you want new music um as for right now we have no plans of releasing anymore for a little bit okay right now we're uh, in the uh, we're in the long haul of, of getting yeah. hopefully a first album all put together exactly basically every social media platform you can think of we're probably on it and that's all at slaves to humanity or at sth <laughs>